Hello and welcome to Pydemy. In this video you are going to learn how to read an Excel file in R programming language. If you want to learn R programming or data science, please first subscribe our channel Pydemy. To read an Excel file, you need to have read Excel package. So first we are going to install read Excel package in R Studio. For this purpose, um, we will write the command install dot packages and within course we will write read excel and uh, this will install read excel package this is the first step of course and uh, here uh, the system has started downloading and now it's uh, installed on our machine now to use this package we need to load read excel and for this we will use library parenthesis read excel and without quotes of course so now library parenthesis read excel and uh, this will load the package with a warning message but that's okay this is the d drive and uh, folder excel data and on excel in excel data this is advertising dot xlsx file which we are going to read it has four columns tv radio newspaper and sales and so there are four columns these are the column headers and there are total of uh, about 200 rows of data in this file and we are going to read this file in our programming language and this file has sheet one sheet two and newspaper dash sales is the sheet, third sheet so advertising dot xlsx excel data and d drive so you should know the path of file you want to read so first we will create a variable and uh, with the uh, we will name it uh, as file so file with path file is assigned file variable is assigned the full path d colon forward slash and the name of folder is excel data and uh, after excel data first excel uh, data forward slash and uh, advertising dot xlsx please don't forget to mention to write the extension either it is xls or xlsx now doing the actual thing to reading um, that file and we are going to use uh, read uh, excel uh, function so adds data is the variable which will hold all the data read and the function is read underscore excel and we will give this file as an argument file means the file its path with extension of course when we will execute this the file will be read and uh, we will use view and adds data and uh, to see the contents of file be which is read and you can see in our programming here that tv radio newspaper sales and uh, the file has been read um, in our programming with the help of this function so it's always better to have a look at your file after reading it to see for any issues and to you can also check columns with a, uh, and rows with the help of a few functions n row will check the number of rows and uh, n rows and uh, adds data is a name of object and uh, the variable and it returns 200 and call will return the number of columns which is of course 4 and uh, if you want to know the name of columns you can write uh, call names it will return the name of columns in your file and uh, it will return of course four names TV radio newspaper sales it's always better to have a check at your data before doing any data analysis um, next important function is str structure function and it will also take the same variable or object adds underscore data and that is the four variables and uh, all four are of uh, numeric type and this data is a uh, uh, tabular uh, form or it is actually a data frame so this is how uh, we read a file and then um, just explored it a little now let's suppose you want to read a specific sheet in your file you want to read sheet number two 
and this sheet has two columns TV and radio and 21 rows I have copied some data from sheet 1 onto this sheet 2 and you want to read any sheet so reading a sheet with sheet number so data 2 is assigned uh, read excel and uh, file same object comma and uh, because we are reading the same file that's why file variable comma sheet is equal to and uh, 2 this will be uh, number two sheet so data two contains the contents of sheet number two and we are going to view this with the view command and view and data two and it should uh, show us the view and it is tv radio of course two columns and with 20 rows sheet number two um, is uh, read in r so this was reading a specific sheet with sheet number now newspaper dash sales how to read a specific sheet with sheet name instead of number now this is uh, uh, 31 rows in this sheet and newspaper and sales are the two columns and we are going to read this sheet creating a variable data 3 is assigned read underscore excel the function and uh, we will give a file as argument the same file of course and sheet is equal to sheet name and sheet is equal to within course it will be uh, newspaper dash sales we have to write very carefully the sheet name here and view data 3 and of course it should contain two columns newspaper and sales and uh, 30 rows executing this command and these are the two columns and uh, mm, the respective number of rows which are 30 so we have successfully read a sheet with the help of sheet name so we read file with the help of uh, uh, file name and path then we read a sheet with the help of sheet number and then we imported data from a sheet with the help of sheet uh, name now let's suppose you um, don't want to write the name and extension we use file dot choose function it will help us to search the file which we want to load in R so in this case we don't have to write the file name and its path and uh, it will create a dialog box like this one and you go for D drive and then of course the you will go for the folder from where you want to search the file and the folder is Excel data folder and uh, then you will simply click the file you want to open in R you want to import data and uh, here the process is uh, a little bit simple but then you have to uh, search for it now viewing the data excel underscore data and uh, it should be same um, because the file is same four columns and uh, 200 entries of data this is how um, to read a file without giving uh, file name or path now next step is to read an excel file with dot xls extension the process is uh, um, same uh, just we have to change the file name and extension this is the famous uh, titanic uh, file uh, p class survive name age sex sip spouse parch parent children etc famous file for uh, data analysis beginners for uh, simple data analysis so file 2 is assigned read excel uh, not read excel the path d uh, colon forward slash excel files of course uh, actually the name of folder is not excel file it is excel data so i have to correct it um, it should be the folder name is excel data and uh, titanic.xls so older excel files with .xls extension and uh, titanic data is assigned read xl and we will give the file to 
variable or file to object containing the complete path file name and extension and there is a warning message causing test to numeric we will ignore this one for the time being and uh, viewing the contents of uh, titanic underscore data will show us the data read from that file and p class survive name sex age save spouse, parent, children, ticket, etc. All that data is read. And to know about the number of columns and number of rows, uh, these are the any values. We will discuss it in uh, data analysis video. In this video, we are discussing how to import data into R, not how to deal with any values, etc. So um, let's have a quiz like, uh, how will you find a number of rows in your data? The number of columns column names so number of rows will be with n row and uh, it will be the total number of rows and uh, 1309 rows similarly n call will be used for uh, the total number of columns in your data and uh, that is 14 columns for column names we may use call names titanic underscore data and it will return all the names of uh, 14 column p class survive name sex etc and we can find the structure data structure of all the variables 14 variables and these are the 14 variables and you can see here like uh, p class is of numeric type name is of character type and so on so when we have to deal with data analysis, we should know about the data types of each variable, of course. So this is how um, to read an Excel file in R programming and to have a little uh, exploration about the number of rows, number of columns, column names, and uh, data type. So uh, if you want to learn R, or data science or of course data analysis please subscribe our channel pydemy to learn more about r and data analysis in a simple way with easy examples and also please don't forget to press the bell icon to get new videos until the next video thank you